Molly was born in Kansas City at Children's Mercy Hospital on January 5th, 2013. When she was born, she was screaming really loud and that was the best sound I could have heard. We did find out that she has Down syndrome and she, she had a heart defect. One in three babies that are born with Down syndrome experience some type of heart defect and the ones that do experience a heart defect most oftentimes need an operation to repair that. With her heart defect, she went into heart failure basically before she could have her surgery. And that was extremely hard to watch her. She had had two hospital stays prior to that. And so this would have been before she was even six months old. And the doctors were very concerned about opening up her heart or opening up her chest in that she, you know, it's something that she would just made her body just may not be able to survive. Molly was in the ICU for most of that time on a ventilator and just to watch her, your baby have to suffer just to live and it was, it was extremely difficult. That was by far the most difficult time of our life, I think. So to have the Ronald McDonald House there to stay and kind of be your home during that time is huge. The way that we first heard about the resources at the Ronald McDonald House was through the social worker at the fetal health center that was following Lori's pregnancy. You know, we don't really have anybody in Kansas City that we would stay with for an extended period of time, no, no family or anything up there. And so, you know, the other option would be a hotel and probably not a whole lot of people just having children that are in a financial condition where that would be feasible. Molly has an older sister named Adeline and uh, she was just two and a half at the time. Even though I was mostly with Molly in, in Molly's room, I knew Adeline could be in Kansas City when we needed her, when she was missing us, or just when we, when we needed our family to be together. We have a very supportive family that's far away. So when they would come up, they would also benefit from what the Ronald McDonald House had to offer. We would, you know, sit together, we'd cry together, we'd pray together, we'd call people together. Um, we'd, we would take pictures of and with Molly together and just try to normalize the experience as much as we can, even though it's completely not normal what we were going through. It was a whole like world that I didn't know about. You know, of course, I know kids are sick and there's children's hospitals everywhere, but I, I just, I didn't realize how hard it really is. I, I don't know what we would have done if the Ronald McDonald House wasn't there for us.